Hey guys, um, I'm using my new camera angle again like I did it in my last video. Anyways, so I am making a three row frilly braid. Let's get started. And, um, well, it's a three row frilly braid rubber band bracelet if i didn't make that clear anyways so this is this bracelet is really similar to another bracelet tutorial that i made on, and it and it's on my channel i just didn't have a name for that bracelet that was on my channel and that was really similar to the one i'm making right now but i do remember it only used two pins so and they do look really similar so if you want a bracelet that only uses two pins or that you can make with your fingers or just any two pins, then you can go ahead and check that tutorial out on how to make that bracelet. But if you want to use something using the whole entire rainbow loom and it's and it's also three rows, then let's get started. So we're basically gonna create a single chain bracelet that goes in a zigzag pattern. So if you don't know what a single chain bracelet is, it's basically that kind of basic bracelet and I don't have many colors left I just have orange then this turquoise color that I'm using and yeah that's it and no actually I do have red too and then I have a mix of black and white so yeah so I don't and then I also have this white right here but I don't have many other colors then like otherwise so I so I really need to get more of them. Anywho, so keep making zigzag all the way down your loom. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do something very different. So I'm gonna take my white band, take off this rubber band, and I know it's under that, so just keep it there. And then go from here to here. And I know this band is right here. We're gonna do something with it, don't worry. And then you just keep it like that. We're going to be making, oh, there's more. So you're gonna be making one more um, single chain down your loom where the green, or no, the turquoise is. So, um, yeah, so just keep doing that and, for, and don't, and like, forget that the, Turquoise bands are even there. Just completely ignore them and do your single chain all the way down your loom. Um, so I put on the white bands and now I just flip my loom around so the loom's arrows are pointing towards me. Okay, now you're gonna take one color for the cap band and just kind of loop it around two times or three times, whatever you prefer. I like to do three times so the rubber band doesn't come off. So basically I'm going to only hook my bottom turquoise bands. And normally in this, in normal rainbow loom hooking processes, we would hook the topmost band. But in this one we're hooking the bottommost band which is turquoise or any color that you guys are using. I like to describe it with my colors because I don't know what colors you guys have. Oh, and my sister is here. What do you want to say, Anya? Uh, I just wanted to say, I hope you're enjoying this video. So what are you doing right now, Ashi? I'm making a rainbow loom. Oh yeah, like what kind? It's a frilly braid. Wow, it's looking good so far. Yeah, and remember all of my designs are my own original designs. Yeah. Like all my Rainbow Loom videos are my own original designs. Um, I think um, you are an expert and you should start making like charms. Oh yeah, I actually did. Um, if anyone has seen my jellyfish charm, then they would know. I think if you could make a charm, my favorite would be if you could make a panda bear. Okay, maybe I will soon. My sister's always wanted me to make that cute panda bear. It's just like so cute. And I like still need to find a way to create it because I always create my designs before I make them, make a video on them. And plus you have a lot of like black and white rubber band, 
No, I don't. In fact, I need to get more. I'm talking about these ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a mix of black and white. Anyways, guys, this video has been going on forever, so now I'm going to put this on time collapse. Okay. Um, so, I'm using blue for this. Um, okay, and then you're just going to add on that single oh wait actually yeah so we hook this now put your looms arrows around so they're pointing up which is that way okay now we're going to just like add on like that single chain and completely ignore the rest of the rubber bands so yeah keep on adding on your single chain and we're basically doing a zigzag So now I'm going to make this go on time collapse. So I put on all my blue zigzag bands. Now remember the white bands that we put on earlier? That's what we're going to be hooking. So, um, yeah. I will show you how to do this just a few times and I'll put this on time collapse because I don't want this to go on forever, and I know some people do hooking processes on loom faster than I do, so I don't want to go too slow for them either. I'm in. Okay. So this part can be kind of tricky to grab the right um, rubber band. So. Oh, because the white is not the bottom band, but it's the second most bottom band. So you kind of have to grab that one. Ugh. Okay, I hope I'm grabbing the right one. Nope, not that one. Okay, I hope that's the right one. Yep, okay. So, um... Let's just do the rest on time collapse. Okay, guys, so I hooked all of my white bands. Now we're going to be hooking the blue bands. So you're basically, the blue band should be under the cap band, by the way. So if it's on top of the cap band, just like kind of move it under that. It's pretty easy to do that. Um, so you would hook your blue layers. So the, yeah, okay. So then after we hook the blue layer, then we can finish off our bracelet because that's the last thing we need to hook. So yeah, this is the blue layer to finish off our bracelet. Okay. Pull, hook, pull up. Ah, make sure your band, like be careful when you're doing this so your bands don't snap. Now I'm gonna put this hooking process on time collapse. Okay, so I hooked all my blue layers of bands. Now, we have this last white um, band that we need to hook. So that's what we're going to hook. So use the back of your hook to push all of the bands. And then you can hold onto your white band down there. And hook that one over. Now, you're going to take your S clip or C clip. I have a S clip. And you're basically just going to hook it onto those two bands. Like that. And then place it back onto the pin. Now we can take everything off of our loom. And then you'll have your bracelet. Really 
So keep on taking everything off your room. Okay, so I hooked all my blue layers of bands. Now we have this last white um, band that we need to hook. So that's what we're going to hook. So use the back of your hook to push all of the bands and then you can hold onto your white band down there and hook that one over. Now you're gonna take your S clip or C clip. I have a S clip and you're basically just gonna hook it onto those two bands like that and then place it back on to the pin. Now we can take everything off of our loom and then you'll have your bracelet. Take it off of your loom, this is what it should look like because it's a three row <laughs> frilly braid and um, yeah, so thanks for watching, bye.